So I'm out here with the peaches that I had chip bud grafted last year and the seedlings that I haven't done any grafting to yet at all. So some of these definitely got chewed up on. So probably a rabbit came in here and just bit off the tops of several of these. So that's kind of made my decision on what I'm gonna do with each one. Some of these haven't been messed with and still look pretty good. So those ones I'm gonna keep as is. Uh, some of these others uh, that have been cut short will be ones that I'm gonna go ahead and graft to. So I've just kind of let nature make that decision for me. I will need to go ahead and get these pruned, especially those that I grafted last year. And I'm gonna prune right above where I put these grafts. So I'll go ahead and show you that. And the idea is to trim it high enough above that that you don't affect that bud or that, that graft that you've put in. But you don't wanna leave any buds from the rootstock that are above that graft or else they might take all that growth and pull it away from that graft that you're wanting to push out. I don't think this one made it, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. And one more back here. All right, well, it is now April 7th, and we're definitely seeing some growth here. Seeing how even that grafted bud there is pushing out a shoot, looks like. And I don't want to do much pruning back of all these other leaves or getting rid of those shoots, but I am going to go ahead and go in here and pinch off the tips because I don't want any shoots from these others, but I want to leave the leaves so those will help grow this tree. So I'm just going to be pinching back just these tips to uh, prevent additional shoots. I want all that energy to go into growing the one shoot that'll be the new tree. You could wait till later to do that, but I just want to make sure that I don't put any energy into the wrong branches here. Here's the second one here that looks successful as well. Pretty excited to see how these have healed in and are pushing out that growth. Really encouraging. Here's the third one that looks really nice too. Also needs pinched on some of these other shoots as well. A little hard to distinguish which one are the original leaves and which ones are going to make the shoot. So not trying too hard here yet. It'll be pretty obvious in a few more weeks. This one didn't end up pushing out, but I wasn't terribly hopeful about this one anyway. And here's our last one here that was also successful. So overall, really excited about how this project turned out. And I've actually got a few kind of bonus ones here for you. I didn't show the grafting of these ones in particular, but out here where I've planted some additional peach trees, I went ahead and grafted just a few of those and found that they were successful as well. So I'll show you those now. These are in an area where I intend them to stay. So even more exciting, I won't have to do any transplanting or new grafting. I've already got them set and ready to go. So let's check those out. So here are my two peach tree rows that I've put out here. And I've just done a couple on the end. So here on this one, uh, this is successful on the end. So I've cut off the rest of this peach tree from there. And then on this side, I turned one on the top and it didn't look like it was gonna work. So I put a uh, actual branch piece here on the side and that was successful so I've got one shooting out from here I didn't graft that one but I grafted the first two on this side so here's that first one here shooting out real nice goes right through that parafilm with ease and then here's another one I did as well. So excited to see these take over as the, uh, the two scaffolds for this tree. And I did the one up here as well. There that one is. And actually this one looks like it's going to, uh, it's going to push out a couple of pieces of fruit. So, uh, we'll, I guess we're going to see how that goes. I'll let that stay for an experiment, for sure. And the one over here. So apparently, uh, 
We'll find out if you can just graft fruit buds and uh, get a crop the following year. So excited uh, even more now to see how that one goes. So hopefully uh, this has helped with some of your curiosity. I know plenty of you were really eager to see how these were going to turn out. Uh, I know I was. So I'm going to hopefully do some more grafting here this spring. I did go out and uh, get a little bit of scion wood uh, from that same peach tree that I really like. So I'll be doing hopefully some videos on just doing some whip and tongue grafting with those. And hopefully soon I'll put together some uh, videos on this experiment here where I'm doing some high density training of these peach trees. So if any of you have any ideas of things that you'd like me to show you or uh, experiment with, I'm more than happy to, to give those a shot. I'm always looking for more experiments and probably have too many I'm doing all at once all the time anyway, but happy to do even more. So thanks for watching.